there, it's Bailey from Glowforge. You're thinking about getting a Glowforge and you're getting your space ready. That's awesome. People keep their Glowforge printers all over the place in home offices, garages, craft rooms, and more. But one thing to keep in mind is ventilation. When you print, the material being vaporized by your Glowforge's laser creates some smoke and fumes, so you need a plan to vent. Every Glowforge comes with everything you need to start printing, including a vent hose. It's just a basic aluminum hose like you'd use to vent a dryer or AC unit. If you're using your Glowforge in a room with a window or exterior door, just connect the vent hose to the Glowforge and throw the open end through the window. At home, I have my Glowforge in a spare room and I just send it straight out the window, no problem. Depending on your window, you may choose to use an adapter similar to what you might use with a portable AC unit to help seal up the rest of the window and prevent the smells from coming back in. If you're not able to vent directly outside, we've got you covered. The Glowforge air filter is available on our website and it was developed to allow you to print anywhere with power and Wi-Fi. It's perfect if you're using a windowless space like a basement or a garage, or even when you're printing in public, like at a craft fair. To vent into the air filter, connect the open end of the hose to the top of the air filter. The air filter is about the size of an office recycling bin and it's usually placed on the floor near your Glowforge. The air filter has a replaceable cartridge and a simple dial on the front of it controls the power. When the cartridge is new, turn the dial just until the fans begin to spin. And as the cartridge fills up, turn the dial to increase the airflow. And there you have it. Ventilation is a must, but it can be as easy as venting a dryer hose out your window or connecting to a Glowforge air filter. Now that you know all about ventilation, I'd love you to tell me, what other questions do you have about Glowforge? Just comment them below, we'll get to them in a future video. Remember, if you wanna get your Glowforge questions answered one-on-one, -on -one, just click the link below to set up a call with a Glowforge expert. See you next time.